Edmonton has a really vibrant nightlife. We have several entertainment areas and we have a lot of places to go out and have a great time on a Friday or Saturday night. If we want these areas to be good entertainment districts, to be safe for people to have a good time, you need to step up and, and take some care for that, both us and the patrons and the owners. The late night economy makes almost $800 million worth of economic activity. Also the industry supports almost 6,000 full-time equivalent jobs in Edmonton. And it's vital to have a dynamic and interesting nightlife, it encourages people to move to Edmonton and it also helps us retain uh, graduates from our universities and technical schools here in the Edmonton area. Responsible Hospitality Edmonton is the formal program designed by the city to coordinate and look after the six elements of a safe and vibrant nightlife. Those six elements are quality of life, vibrancy, venue and public safety, community policing, late night transportation, and patron responsibility. We work with a number of different partners. We work closely with police, we work closely with transportation, we work closely with colleagues responsible for cleanup, and together we coordinate the nightlife and make sure that it stays as safe and vibrant as possible. The Public Safety Compliance Team is an integrated team that falls under Responsible Hospitality Edmonton. EPS, Fire, AGLC, Bylaw, we're not working under silos anymore. We're collaborating, we're, we're sharing information, and we're achieving the end goal of, of public safety, but we're doing it together. Okay. Produce your IDs like we discussed. The team conducts surprise inspections at liquor licensed establishments throughout Edmonton. Our, our Community Standards Branch Municipal Enforcement Officers are looking to ensure that the, the various city bylaws are being abided by and uh, just create a, a safer night out for everybody at the end of the day. As you know in the evening this gets all jammed up with taxi cab. Street as a Venue program is very unique to Edmonton. Uh, we look after the outside of um, the hospitality. We look at the street as, um, as a venue. When I go out on the avenue I really look at how the street is moving to begin with, to see if the pedestrians are able to move um, in front of a venue carefully. I look at late night transportation, I work in that area, and um, quality of life, where I spend a lot of my time looking at garbage, clean up, um, washroom locations. It's looking at all those aspects before and after um, a busy night. Responsible hospitality is key to creating a good, healthy experience that can attract people, that can make that happen, that can make those neighborhoods the vibrant neighborhoods that are part of the payoff for creating a denser center, for keeping your center healthy. Doing an inspection with the public safety compliance. Team. This program is a huge benefit to the public. Uh, we're out there on a regular basis in liquor license establishments throughout Edmonton working with the venues to ensure that they're maintaining the best business practices, ensure they're providing Edmontonians with the, the safest night out that they possibly can. I notice the black curtains tend to block the exit signs. That Responsible Hospitality Initiative is really quite central to the whole broad theme of uh, how we prosper. Having a dynamic and interesting nightlife is key to improving the quality of life here in Edmonton. Edmonton is a growing, dynamic, vibrant city and as Edmonton continues to grow, the nightlife and the nightlife opportunities and the vibrancy will continue to grow. And we want it to grow in a planned and managed way, in a way that is safe for both patrons, for staff and for all residents of Edmonton.